The ripples from the Fukushima nuclear accident continue to spread abroad. Clashes have broken out between anti-nuclear protesters and police in India. The clashes in the southern state of Tamil Nadu have left one person dead and many injured. The violence erupted on Monday as thousands of people camped on the beach near the Kudankulam nuclear power plant. Police say at least four of their officers were hurt. Another protest spilled over to the Tutikorin district, 40 kilometers north of the plant. The local government says that more than 350 residents carrying clubs gathered at the local police station. Police fired at protesters, killing one. The protest began last year after the Fukushima disaster. The demonstrations have prevented the new power plant from operating as scheduled. India is trying to promote nuclear power generation to meet surging energy demand in its fast-growing economy. But many citizens are worried about the plant's safety. India is promoting nuclear power as a means of feeding its growing economy. But there is a strong opposition. One anti-nuclear protester died during a demonstration on Monday and others have gone on hunger strike. NHK World's Neha Gupta has the story. The clash between demonstrators and police occurred near the Kudankulam nuclear power plant in the southern Indian state of Tamil Nadu. Police confronted local residents who are against plans to start operations at the facility, resulting in injuries on both sides. The protest spilled over to a neighboring district where people gathered around a police station to protest the handling of anti-nuclear demonstrations. Police opened fire on the residents, killing one. This prompted around 30 demonstrators to begin a 48-hour hunger strike on Monday. They, along with their supporters, are slamming police action and criticizing the government's decision to go ahead with plans to start operating the nuclear plant. The incident has affected us deeply and we severely condemn it. They inflicted violence on us by throwing tear gas and beating us. They attacked us and forced us to stop our protest. The facility was scheduled to begin operations last fall. But that plan has been delayed by an anti-nuclear movement which gained momentum following last year's accident at Japan's Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. India, like other emerging economies in Asia, is having difficulties securing enough energy for its growing economy. In July, massive blackout hit the country for two consecutive days. More than half the country, including the capital, New Delhi, was left without power at one point during the incident. The Indian government claims nuclear power is needed to meet the growing demands for electricity and maintains that the Kudankulam plant is safe. But people living near the plant are not convinced. The friction between them is growing even stronger now that one protester has been killed. Neha Gupta, NHK World, New Delhi.